right, people, welcome, welcome again to MG Sports TV. Now, before I get into the video, um, let me make this very, very clear, right? There, are, there will be persons who are going to be happy about this. I don't know why. Um, there are going to be persons who are going to be distraughted about it, disappointed. There's going to be a lot of different mixed reaction to this particular news. But I want you guys to listen extremely keenly on the news. Understand the context. Listen keenly, people. It's important. It's imperative that you do so to get a better understanding of the situation. Before I do that, people, you don't know we have to do the administrative aspect on the channel. Um, let's first, there is a pin comment. The pin comment is a go for me. Let me show you guys the purpose of that. Let me move that. You guys know, we'll be doing, this is actually a bit of a JPL review show. So this is the purpose of the pin comment, people. Um, it's a go for me, people who are trying to acquire this camera. You already know. I've been saying it for a good while now. It's quite expensive, but even a dollar. Would definitely appreciate it if you guys it contribute just even a dollar to this um, move that we're trying to do. Uh, you know, we, we stream Jamaica Premier League, um, Women's Premier League, schoolboy football, schoolgirl football, under 14, under 50, under 16, under 17 um, competitions, under 20 competitions, under 10 competitions. We, we, have, we have done a lot of those things people that's the purpose of the goal for me we're trying to acquire the camera people we're halfway there at this present moment the value of the camera is 1700 dollars that's the value of the camera we're trying to acquire the camera people so that's the purpose of it also let's give a big shout out to our channel members the original zilla jeremy and swaby oh we got a new member rolando cardin as well so he will be added onto the list um, you know, it would be added on to this. My apologies, my brother. I did sort it out, but I didn't get to upload the picture. Um, let me continue. German Swaby, Paul Rose, David Beckham, Feather 5, um, Black Icon 40, Kyle Wallace from the Reggae Boy Supporters Club. Please go, people. Go in your Google. Check them out. Give them your support. Lee Bell, Marsden Ricketts, Jamil Winter, and Rolando Codner. He will be joining quite soon, people. Patrons, Raymond Austin, and Ravon Bennett. For those who want to join, the link is in the description of the video people you can join at a patreon or you will get added to the patreon or most definitely 100 percent at a patreon or become a channel member and big up to our, to our sponsors at sub sports people they, they have the regular latest regular boy jersey coming in maybe before even sub, um, western sports or even jfif but they have it coming in all right now mike is a bit loud People couldn't, couldn't tell the mic is loud. Big up everybody. Um, so Badger, Ricardo Badger said it's a real thing. Is he coming back? Please tell this is not true and it's just rumors. So not even MLS can track. All right, so that's why I said people relax. People relax. Please do smash the like button. I will give you. I, I will be giving you guys the full details of the situation. Let me just run through the JPL results, people. Let me please get the opportunity to run through the JPL results. Then we're gonna touch on Tyreek McGee. So let's just get, let's get, let's just get the JPL out of the way um, as fast as possible. Then we can we we can um, analyze the Tyreek McGee situation. I'm I'm gonna give you a download on what's happening on the situation. But one thing I know for sure, one thing I know for sure, people, um, it is something to discuss. It is something to discuss. And it's these are discussions that people have been having for the longest while. But let, let me just get this out of the way, people. I need to get the JPL um, coverage out of the way as fast as possible. I don't know. There was a lot of games passed over the weekend. Um, so let's start off with Falkland. Falkland drew it more pleasant. As you know, we all thought more pleasant would have gotten that victory. People, this won't be a long stream. It's a short stream. It's a very, very short stream. Extremely short stream. Like the button, video, people. Smash the like button. Smash the like button, people. Um... Smash the like button, people. There's, there is a poll in the comment section. There's a poll in the comment section. Please participate in the poll. 22 persons voted and only 11 persons liked the video. Can you imagine? When you eager for vote, but you not like the video. Come on, people. Um, so let me just run. Let me just continue running through this, people. Falkland drew the Mount Pleasant. Um, good result that for, for Falkland. Bad result for Mount Pleasant because they wanted to continue that winning run. And then, they have, and then Mount Pleasant have another tough game coming up. I think it's Arborview. Tough, tough game coming up. Uh, more lines get a win, a victory over Warthouse, which is actually a really, really good, um, um, good victory for more lines. Putting them, pushing them up the table to be a bit comfortable. Warthouse still in a bit of inconsistency where farm is concerned. Something that they really, really need to, to, um, to work on. 
Um, Arborview defeated Chabot and Maroons 1 0. That game played down by Tivoli, down by Edward Siaga um, Sports Complex. Moby United drew with Portmore 1 1. Then we have Arnett defeating Cavaliers, which actually this match I, this match was epic, people. A really, really good encounter. Definitely. A, a, but people look at the scorelines. Highest scoreline at 2 1. This is how competitive the league is. The league is highly, highly competitive, people. So, and then we have Tivoli versus Veer. That game ended. Nilal, then Dumbi Holing, um, last out to Umberline, two goals to two one, and it was a really good encounter, people, and a last minute clincher. What do you call it? I think you call it um, clutch. <laughs> yeah, really, really good performance from Umberline. Both teams really um, played extremely well. I think both Dumbi Holing a lot more possession. Nevertheless, you have to put the ball in the back of the net um, for those possession to amount to anything or have any value. Anything or at any any value. So really, really good performance from, from, from that game. And Umberland really, really got I'm pushing up the table as well. Let me see if we can find the, the table. Umberland now in fourth position. They're just woo. You're seven points from top. Um, that's three points from second and two points from third. They are in a really, really good position right now. Extremely good position right now. Portmore United on the outskirts on seventh. In in in, in uh, uh, and seventh and Waterhouse same as well with Waterhouse, um, Falkland chapter and Maroons tough tough really really tough but performance have been improving unfortunately the the numbers aren't generating just the same as performance we have thirty persons voted and we still can't hit thirty likes thirty persons voting and we can't hit thirty likes ah uh, tough all right um. Let me let, let so let's get to the the the, the, the Tyre Maggie situation of people. So as me don't say people, we just want to get get through the, the, the JPL. Um, and let's get to the Tyre Maggie situation, people. As I mentioned initially, that the video won't be a long one. It's going to be a short and maybe spicy. Yeah. So let me tell. You. So last night, um, Arborview um played a practice match with Racing United. For those who don't know who Racing United are, they are the Saint Catherine. Major League Champions, very, very good team. The game ended 3-2 to um 3-2 to, Ab um, to, to Arborview, which I, I, I was reliably informed by somebody who knows football. That was a very good encounter, really, really good encounter between both teams. Now, I have I heard about Tyree McGee at um Arborview training. I heard about it, but I never I I didn't want to call. I didn't want to really bring up anything. I didn't never never really want to discuss it because it was just rumors. I I was heard it, but I know Tyre McGee was in Jamaica. I knew he was in Jamaica. Um, and the first time I heard that he was in Jamaica, I was like, "It's mid season. What are you? What what are you doing in Jamaica?" I never really understand the situation. First of all, people, I don't know the background details. Of the situation with Tyre Maggie right now. I'm just going to give you information that I have, that I am privy to, I have access to. Um, so if you're looking, listening for background information, uh, definitely. Um, coach is said, big up. He was at a match going, I saw him. Oh, big up, coach. So, coach confirmed. Well, they already confirmed. <laughs> but I'm, I'm never really sure. But I heard that he was in Jamaica. That's what I heard. Now, secondly, I heard that he was at Arborview training. In my mind, he was just used, utilizing the complex to get much fit, much sharp. But when I, when I sit back, I'm like, it's mid-season. Why? The, the, the season is going on right now. So why, why, why would you be in Jamaica training? That, that wouldn't make any sense. That wouldn't make any sense at all. And so now, Arborview played against... Arborview played against... Um, um, Racing United, as I said, Arborview won the game. Um, Terry McGee played for Arborview in that practice match. It was something to keep the players fresh, whatever. He played for Arborview in the practice match. I was told he looked really, really good. Just the same. Unfortunately, he played. That's a big problem. He played. Unfortunately, he played. Mid-season, when he should be at his club, he played. He's playing um, a, a preseason. Could there be a case in which he terminated, as, as Fresh God said, could be a case in which he terminated his contract at Cast Open? That could be a case. That could be something we could factor in. Definitely. But nonetheless, at present moment, he has been at Arborview for a good while now, based on what I was told. That the person said that they have been there twice. 
match the game last night and also I think one of the training session and they saw Tariq McGee and that you could have come to the conclusion that he has been there because our good while now he has been there for a long time now training with the Arborview team purpose for that not sure could their MLS mo uh, movement moving uh, movement coming up or MLS contract on the on, on the on the cards I'm not sure possibility we don't know we really really don't know but, but that that's just how it is right now um i for one let me give you my thoughts on the situation but the mere fact that he played means that something could happen something could happen he's here and he's playing something could happen I'm not sure if he's going to play for above you though um i'm not i'm not really not sure could could be actually you know could be could be <laughs> definitely could be but let's look at the context he has been at um castle for a good while for a few seasons now a good one now people and regain time it has been one of his it's, 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 game time took Tyre Margie has been scarce commodity very rarely you see Tyre Margie getting some game time he did play some minutes I think he played like, like roughly about 25 minutes in total I think he played a 45 minute game La, that's the back end of last, um, the early part of last season but not much but not much um that dj said um probably the club send him back um to rebuild like united did with sancho that's a good that's a good that's a that's a good um um theory that's a good theory not sure it's fairly a good theory um theory fresh god said first daily nikki daily marshall tyre mcgee who's in jamaica also lamar walker don't know is Portmore United a, a possible option for Lamar Walker? We don't know. Um, Fabiki Farkison. Who else? Who else? Jashan Anglin. Well, we all know his situation. Um, who else? Um, Crystal J. Daly. So these are all the. These are all the. the, the, the um, Nicholas Nelson. Atafry by Grave. These are all the elite type of players that are coming from Jamaica, stepping out um, to go and represent um, themselves on Jamaica at a different or at a higher level, um, quote unquote, and they have returned back. And it, 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 it's not a good look, but it opens a lot a door for uh, the door for a lot of question. What is the major issue, guys? Please do smash the like button. Please do smash the like button. What is the major major issue uh michael right so can maggie still sign after the transfer window no not no i'm not sure if it's if he's a free agent I'm, I'm i'm not sure i don't know what the rules the rule book um go um states in, in regards to that i really don't know wish i knew um Bala kicks it. So, oh, how about you not announce him to the fan? Because officially, he's not an Arborview player. He was just participating in the practice game, um, keeping his legs um, fresh. I would assume, and also keeping himself um, um, a fresh, um, fresh as well, um, with utilizing game time. Um, Nanda said, Maggie, now disappointing fans. I, I, I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think so. Fresh guy said, I hope Walker can get a contract with the Russian team because this would be, this would be, um, this would break my heart. All right, so uh, apparently what I heard with Lamar Walker, I heard that the, the, the contract didn't go through. I heard that um, it didn't happen. Despite the reports came out that he looks good and, and all these things, it, it, it never materialized. That's what I heard. That, that's the information I was, I, was, I was given. It did not materialize. That's the reason why he's back now in Jamaica. And they can send him on loan after the transfer period, so his contract would have had to be um, cancelled. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Understood, understood. Um, understood. So that it 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 it, 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 it the question is, um, what is the situation? What is really happening with, with our players, especially our young, talented players that we have so much high expectations for? Looking forward to see them really, really excel in 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 the, in the areas. It, it, it's it's difficult because there's not a specific answer for it. There's not a specific answer for it. I would love to know. I would love to understand what is happening. Especially, could it be culturally? Could it, could I, I, I'm, I'm not sure if it's talent. I'm really, I highly doubt it's talent. But there is something there. There has to be some common 
the nominator. Um, Richard Stewart says, schoolboy football underdeveloping the players, bro. Uh, can't blame schoolboy football. You can't blame schoolboy football. Um, Kain Paris played schoolboy football. Boza played a little bit of schoolboy football as well. Who else? I think Liam Bailey played under 16. I think so. I think Liam Bailey did play under 16. I think when he came back, he played like... I think when he came back to KC, when he went to KC, Kingston College. Don't quote me. Don't quote me. I, I remember. Um, Rob Smith said, Lua, Blake, Fresh God said, um, I, don't, I don't remember people. I don't remember the situation with Liam Bailey. Um, but I knew that when he was a, he was a KC for a, 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 maybe about a month or two. Uh, Mikel Rice said, bro, when we go overseas, we don't work hard enough. That's why we always, that's why me always rate Boza and Paris. Um, Fresh God said, Paris not starting at him. No, Paris is injured, Fresh God. Paris injured. Paris injured right now. Him just a, him Paris just a come back from injury. He was out for about two months or three months. He, he just coming back from injury. Um, Javian Rinzet, Rinzet said, you, them mindset. Um, Marceline Ricketts, big up to our channel member who's just coming in the comment section. Something else has to be wrong. He has been in Europe enough to have some level of development done. Agree. Yeah, man, fresh got kind of injured, man. Kind of injured for about, for about two months now. And just a comeback and, and just a touch back on the pitch. Ravan Bennett, people, another one of our, our patrons. Um, Bailey come back to JC. He never played. He played under 14, under four, oh, under 14 for Casey before he left. Okay. Ah, yeah. So it's actually so it was Pepsi. Um, it can't be that Maggie um wasn't working hard. What else he was doing in Belgium by himself? I don't know. I really don't know. Guys, I can imagine. It's so much persons vote, 50 odd persons vote, you know. And we only have 26 <laughs> likes. Uh, Rob Smith said um, it can't be that uh, oh just read that a while ago. Um, Shad said mental issues. Ugh. Mental issues. I know. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I, I mean, I know. I, I really don't know. I, I will. I wish I. I had the answer. I really, really wish I had the answer. But I, unfortunately, I don't. Anyways, people, this is just a quick, quick update as I wanted to give you guys. I didn't plan on staying here long, guys. Please remember to tune in. The, when this video ends, send it straight to the 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 um the the watch along. Just hit a like button on it, people. Just hit a like on it, people. Just drop a like on it, please. Drop a like on it for me, please. Um, definitely. And join us on Watch Along. We can have a longer discussion on this matter on the Watch Along. But now, um, I'm just going to get some rest and uh, recuperate before the Watch Along. People, massive respect. Thank you very much for tuning in, people. Um, hopefully, guys are doing good. People, join me for the Watch Along where we can have a longer discussion on this matter. Richard said, but military remember when Paris was sent to first division in Slovenia, the team loaned him out to a second division to develop. Boza did play much um much schoolboy football. Um Leon was developed in Europe. Leon Bailey played under foot and um, Pepsi. Boza played um schoolboy football for I think I think uh Atibali at Trench Town. No, not, 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 I think Atibali I. I think he played for Tivali I, but they never really come out of the first round. Um that is his true girlfriend is pregnant. Not sure. Charlie Smith. Yes, Charlie Smith. I don't remember who's... Yeah, I, uh, Charlie Smith. Yeah, he, play, he played, but it's just, it just a team team never really that good, so they never really come out of that first one. For a lot of people to see him and know about him. Um, Nanda said, probably the Ibala just take some time off him, if him GF that is now um, pregnant. Could be. That could be. That definitely could be. Um, that, that could be. Um, Champ Deck said MG is cool boy football for true, too much hype and not enough quality. It's what we have. Oh, see, fresh guard karaoke, the trench tone. That means I made it right. Made it right, made it right, made it right, made it right. Anyways, people, smash like button. Please remember to join the watch along later, people. The video goes in a straight to the watch along. Just drop a like on the people. Please, me, I beg you, drop a like. See you guys later, people, for the watch along. MG Sports TV, people, wrote. Boom. Thank you.